Hi there. Welcome. This is uh, another record collection update. And uh, I was thinking, what, what do I really want to show you guys? I have so many different genres. What genre would I pick out first? And I thought, I'm not going to do a genre. I'm going to do an era. It's the 60s. But before I do that, I gotta show you some stuff that I recently got. There's four LPs I bought and uh, basically plugging Mojo Magazine. If you don't know Mojo Magazine, read it. It's a good read, great articles, and a great cover CD every time. This time it's basically where does Bob Dylan come from? Basically the people that were around in Greenwich Village when Bob Dylan started. That's the music you hear on the CD, that's what this uh, magazine. Uh, great thanks for reading. And the records I got. First one is Captain Sensible with uh, is it Women and Captains First. Uh, yeah, it's a corny album. Uh, Captain Sensible, who was in The Damned at the time, uh, he had two hits. Uh, what and Happy Talk, they're both on this album. It's pretty good stuff if you're into like pop music. It's nothing like the day. Then I found Lip Sync, which I thought this cover was very 80s, very Citra Citra like, and it is kind of, but it's more like disco. There's four tracks on it. Best known track is Funky Down. Everyone knows. Uh, yeah, it's pretty okay. Nothing too bad. Then I found Howard Jones, 12 inch album. Six songs on it. All from his first uh, first album. And they're the 12 inch versions, as it basically says on the album. It's, uh, yeah, fun. And the last record that I got by a Dutch singer-songwriter or pop, pop artist called Henny Fiete. He used to be in a band called Duma. They were in size comparable to the Beatles. The craziness that surrounded the Beatles surrounded these guys as well. Uh, this is his first solo album from 1983. It's pretty good. Now let's get into the uh, 60s. Uh, first, I'm going to show you my Beatles collection, because that's where my Beatle, or, or my 60s collection starts off. With. I've got Help. Um, this is a re-release, not the original soundtrack. But it's, uh, yeah, it's a good version. Then a um, vinyl-wise, it's perfect. Sleeve-wise, I really need a new one. Revolver, it's, uh, as you can see, pretty much torn open here. Uh, but yeah, this is a great album. The album itself is, is in good condition, really good condition. That's the sleeve. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a French uh, release, by the way. Then I have the German Mis Magical Mystery Tour plus other songs, LP. Great film, I love this uh, magical mystery tour movie that did. And uh, it's great songs on it. And of course, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Yeah. Which is, I guess, in everyone's collection who collects records. And then Abbey Road. Another one that should be in everyone's collection. That's everything I have by the Beatles. I don't have that many, as you can see. I have the White Album on CD, but otherwise, that's basically it. This is uh, George Harrison, Wonder Woman Music, which I showed in the previous update. I'm not going to talk too much about that. It's a crazy little you know, Indian-influenced uh, soundtrack, actually, for a movie called Wonder Woman. 
the Beach Boys, uh, fun, fun, fun. It's a reissue, originally titled uh, Shut Down Volume 2. They left some songs off this record and released it as fun, fun, fun. They did the same thing with this record. Do you want to dance? Oh no, sorry, dance, dance, dance. It's got the song, Do You Want to Dance? This was originally called The Beach Boys Today. When I started collecting, I bought these, so I didn't upgrade yet. Then Pet Sounds, which is yes, again a record that every collector should have. Great album. Another one that I really like, Smiley Smile. Then uh, Sunflower, I think the last one that I have by the Beach Boys is Surf's Up. Which is a really awesome record. If you don't know it yet, but you do like the Beatles, uh, sorry, Beach Boys, <laughs> get that one. It's a good album. Now, one of my favorite bands from the 60s is The Monkees. This is their uh, first album with the theme from The Monkees and Lost Train to Clarksville. I like, I like The Monkees a lot. They're, they're great. This is uh, more of the monkeys, the second album. So we release. Then I have another album, Headquarters, which is basically the album where they decided, you know, we want to play the music, we want to write the music, and for uh, the label, the downfall of the monkeys. It's good stuff. I personally think they got better when they started to write their own songs. This is Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn and Jones Limited. This was in a previous update. Great stuff. My favorite of their records. Uh, now I've got uh, this one, The Birds, The Bees and The Monkeys. It's a re-release on Sundays and it's in the orange vinyl. Great album. I got some uh, records. Oh, this is only one. One record that Rhino released. It's a uh, Rag Tracks LP, Missing Links. It's basically got, you know, tracks that were never ever released and some B sides from Seven Inches. It's pretty cool. Then uh, Michael Nesmith of the Monkees, he did some solo stuff. Including this album, I don't know which side is the front side. I think this one. It's the Wichita Train Whistle uh, with the album The Wichita Train Whistle Sings. Oh, does it? Beautiful envelope sleeves. It's a really nice album, but it's more like one of those brass bands that play, which is good. But not that good. And the next one is a uh, band that's a ripoff of a ripoff. They are ripping off the monkeys who themselves were a ripoff of the Beatles. It's Every Mother's Son. And if you get one of their records, get this one. This is their first one. That's the band. Look at them. Clean cut American boys. Uh, there's a track on here called Alice and Dozer, which I love. Great track. Every mother's son. And then they released a second one called Every Mother's Son's Back. This is a little flap here. There they are. It's a pretty nice album, but not as good as their debut album. And I also have an album by the Candy Man called The Candy Man Bring You Candy Power. Um, yeah. Not really that good, 
but you know, I, I love 60s music, and this is part of the 60s, I guess. It's on ABC Records. Good stuff. Good enough stuff, let's just call it that. I got the Fireballs. This is a bottle of wine. Uh, some really good tracks, some not so good tracks. It's on Adco. Sleeve sucks. I'm not really a fan of the sleeve. I also have another album by them, which is, I think, musically a lot better. It's Come On React. That track, it's a great track. It's one of the best tracks they did. Then the last words. Self-titled album. Yeah, it's a, maybe a cash-in album. The whole hippie movement that was there. It's pretty okay. Nothing too special. I like it. This is a Run Baby Run by the New Beats. I bought it at a uh, uh, Goodwill store from Hickory Records. It's okay. I bought it for the fact that it's an album from the 60s. I like it. Yeah, I like then the Corporate Buddy with Prospectus 69. Um, yeah, this is pretty good. Great sunshine pop band from the late 60s. And it's a pretty good sleeve. I like it. It's on MGM. Which is a, actually a good, good record label. They do a lot of good stuff. And then The Prophets with Playgirl. The sleeve is genius. I love this sleeve. These are the, uh, the this is the band, The Prophets, and they just love a girl. They hang on to it. This is hilarious. I just have to get this. That's the back side. Yeah, a band that never had any hits, I guess. Mm -hmm. Then I got the new Colony 6 with a tra Attacking a Straw Man. This is a pretty good one. Um, yeah. Love the artwork. That's good. So. That's it for now. Um, yeah, I, I need to do more. <laughs> I'm going to do more updates. Um, I just had to get this out of the way, knowing where to start. I'll continue the soundtrack updates as well. And I need to show you my, my post-punk collection, my uh, maybe funk collection. Uh, I've got 80s pop. I've got indie pop, indie rock, so many things I have to show you guys. This is it for now, and um, I hope to see you in future updates.